Jasper Vierskos is a scientist with the Catalina Sky Survey. Our mission is to discover um, as many near-Earth objects as possible. And they did just that on the night of February 15th. Fierce Coast and his colleague Teddy Prine were at their 60-inch telescope when they noticed something on their computer screen. Okay, here goes another near-Earth asteroid. Like, we find tens of those each night. They shared their observations and thought nothing else of it. But then scientists started to track the object. But it was clear that this object was indeed um, orbiting the Earth. Meaning it could be classified as a mini-moon. And this mini-moon really is miniature. In fact, it's the size of a small car. It's, it's nice to call it possible mini-moon. Veers Coast is not completely sold on calling it a mini-moon just yet. But we still don't know 100% uh, if this object is indeed natural or maybe some piece of flight hardware. If testing proves it to be a natural object, it will be the second asteroid out of the one million known asteroids to orbit Earth. Uh, the first one we made um, over a decade ago. So th this is a discovery that we've been waiting for, for for quite a while. That asteroid was known as 2006 RH120. And like 2020 CD3, it was known as a temporarily captured object. They might be influenced by the Earth's gravity. They might make, make a few uh, chaotic passes around the Earth and then and then uh, they're released back into heliocentric orbit. Which means the days of 2020 CD3 in our orbit are numbered. That it will leave Earth's uh, orbit in about a month. 